Hello once again. Seems like these times of uh, doing devotionals are getting closer and closer together. I guess that uh, they say time flies when you get older, so I guess maybe that's that's what's happening. Uh, it's always interesting to try to come up with a uh, topic for our devotionals uh, each week, and uh, um, sometimes I have two or three ideas, and sometimes I don't have anything. But uh, today we want to revisit a. Uh, a scripture that I talked about a few months ago, uh, but I want to give you a different uh, aspect and different thoughts on it uh, today. But before we do that, I want to read you to uh, the uh, 46th Psalm. There's only 11 verses, and uh, the title of this uh, Psalm is God Our Fortress. And in this, it has a, the verse that we want to talk about. So it says, To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song for the virgins. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, he will not fear when the earth changes and when mountains are slipping into the heart of the seas. Let its waters roar and foam. Let the mountains shake with the swelling of it. There is a river, its channels gladden the city of God, glad, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is the God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her at the t turning of the morning. The nations raged. The kingdoms were shaken. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Jehovah of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of Jehovah who makes ruins of the earth. Who makes wars to cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be praised among the nations. I will be praised in the earth. Jehovah of hosts is with us. There, the God of Jacob is our refuge. So this is the uh, passage that uh, we want to consider today about God being our fortress. And we want to emphasize uh, the 10th verse, the first part of that verse. It says, be still and know that I am. Now, as I mentioned, I had uh, talked about this uh, once before. And uh, uh, made some comments and things. And I just want to uh, to take a look at it again and uh, and give you some more thoughts on that. First of all, let's look at the first two verses, or the two, two, first two uh, words of that verse, chapter or verse ten, it says, "Be still." Well, what does it mean to be still? You know, we as a uh, people uh, nowadays, we don't know how to be still. I mean, we're on the go constantly. We're looking for instant gratification all the time, and. Uh, it's hard for us just to sit down and, and relax and, uh, you know, not do anything and, and just spend some time and, and contemplating things. And uh, yeah. so the psalmist says that we need to, to be still. And as I say, it's hard for us to do that. Uh, we seem like we always have to be up doing something, and uh, but yet uh, we don't need to do that. So be still. In other words, take time, stop talking. You know, we, we love to talk, but yet don't talk because that distracts your mind. We need to clear our mind and know uh, uh, so that we can meditate on God and realize what he means to us. We need to switch off our phones. Uh, we seem to have our uh, phones attached to our ears or our eyes attached to our text uh, messages and everything today so we need to to put those aside for a while and uh, to be still and just stop to think stop commenting about things we need to stop and we need to listen we need to listen to what other people are having to say we need to listen to what god has to tell us by reading his word we need to spend time uh meditating reading in god's word uh, letting god's word enter our mind and helping us get rid of all those uh, uh, worldly thoughts and uh, ideas and, and just realize uh, what God does mean to us. 
uh, need to stop arguing. Uh, that seems like all we do nowadays. If you get on Facebook or any social media, everybody's got their own opinion and everybody thinks that they're right and everybody else is wrong. And uh, we just constantly fussing and arguing with one another. We need to stop that because that just clutters up your mind and doesn't let, uh, let your mind center on God and what he means to us. We need to squat, stop questioning everything that goes on. Uh, God uh, is here. He's in control. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. And stop moaning. Quit complaining about everything that goes on. You know, we as a country are truly blessed. And uh, we need to, to stop and meditate on the blessings that we have uh, each day. And stop complaining about what we have or have not. Or what we want uh, and everything. So just... Uh, we need to clear our minds. Be still. Let God enter into your heart and your mind because it will bring you peace and joy when you do. The second two words, and no. Well, what does it mean to and no? Well, we need to know that God is God. We need to stop doubting God God has control. I know in today's world, it seems that uh, everything is out of control, but yet uh, it, is, uh, it is not. We need to be sure. We need to have assurance uh, that uh, things are going to be okay. We need to have faith, faith in God, faith that he's going to do what is necessary uh, for us. And we don't need to go about looking for our second opinions. And then the last three words of that uh, verse, I am God. Well, what does it mean when he makes the comment, I am God? Well, he means that he is the Almighty. He is the one that has created everything on this earth. He has created us. He has uh, authority over us. He is the Almighty God. He is the living God. God is in control. You can just look around, uh, especially this time of the year, uh, changing into seasons. We're into the fall. The leaves are turning. Uh, uh, the weather is turning cooler and everything. Uh, you can just look at God's creation and see that God is in control. I know today it seems like th things are not in control with all the virus going on, so many deaths and everything going on, and all the chaos, but yet God is in control. God is love. God loves us, and he showed us that because he sent his son to die for us for the remission of our sins. So he is a loving God. He is king of all kings. He is the king of heaven. He is the king of earth. He is our hope. He is my hope. Hope of being able to spend eternity with him in heaven. He is my rock. In other words, I can build my faith and my uh, my life upon his teachings and uh, realize that uh, I can count on him. And as the song said that we wrote, uh, read, uh, God is our fortress. He is the one that's going to protect us. Uh, just like the in the early days or in the, uh, the settlers' uh, built forts to protect themselves. Uh, we build uh, camps uh, around uh, the world to protect our military servicemen and everything. Uh, so God is our fortress. And as long as we stay in his fortress, we can be uh, protected from the world as we know it. God is ever present. He's everywhere. He knows everything that's going on. He knows all of our thoughts, all of our deeds, all of our actions. He knows everything that's going on. He's a help in times of need or in times of trouble. You know, when you have trouble coming uh, your way, uh, we have the avenue of prayer that we can go to God and uh, tell him about our, our thoughts, our concerns, and our trials and our tribulations. And uh, God has uh, promised that he's going to hear our prayers and uh, he's going to listen. And what a comfort that is, is that when trouble times come our way, we know that God will be here and that he will provide us a way. 
God has promised that he'll never give us more than what we can handle. Uh, so he knows what is good for us and what we can take care of. And he's going to help us through those times. God is my father. He's my heavenly father. He's the one that created us. He created me and he created you. And he created all, uh, all the world and all the people in the world. God is my shepherd. Well, what is a shepherd? As we know, shepherds uh, are the ones that tend to the flock. And uh, if you ever watched a shepherd, he's, he's, a lot of times he sleeps with his uh, flock. He's constantly there. He's constantly watch, watching for them. Uh, God will lead me, just like a shepherd uh, will lead his flock. God's going to lead me. All I have to do is study his word and follow after what he has to tell. God's going to nourish me. He's going to provide me all the physical uh, needs that I have, uh, food, water, and clothing uh, to sustain my life. But also he's going to nourish my spiritual life uh, through his word, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that will help guide me and, uh, and help guide you. He's going to protect me. Uh, and he's going to give us strength to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Uh, if we put on the, the armor of God. And he's going to restore me. What do I mean by that? Well, we are told that we uh, are all sinners and we come short of the glory of God and that uh, we need to repent. And when we repent, God's going to restore us back to the right relationship that we need to have with him uh, as we uh, go through our lives. And so we need to realize that we need to be still. Take time to meditate in God's Word. We don't do enough of that nowadays. Uh, we're too busy spending other times on uh, video games, uh, working, uh, recreation. Uh, we need to take out the Bible. We need to read it. We need to study it. Take advantage of all the times that we have to, to be still and to know that God is and that He is. God, the Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. And he's going to uh, continue to reign uh, until it's time for us all to go to be home with him in heaven. Hopefully these words will help you as you uh, go through life uh, this week. And uh, when you have the opportunity, maybe you can talk to someone else about uh, they need to slow down their lives, be still, and know that God is. We hope that all of you are doing well and uh, safe from this virus. Uh, they keep telling us that it's uh, starting to uptick again, and we just hope and pray that uh, that uh, we can get a control over this soon. And uh, just may God continue to bless you and keep all of you safe. Let's bow for a word of prayer. Our Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we're thankful for you and for all that you do for us. Father, give us the strength and the courage to be still and to know that you are God and that you are in control and that you will take care of us, that you'll protect us and you'll guide us. All we need to do, Father, is just uh, surrender our lives to you in obedience to your will and to your teachings and to live a life in such a way that when time here on this earth is done, that we can go to, to be with you in heaven. Again, continue to bless all those that are hear my words today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.